Well, good morning, everyone, in the middle of a big long weekend here in Melbourne, and welcome to this morning's edition of World of Sport Replay. Well, a great time for racing in the three codes. We had the big new market handicap day yesterday at Flemington. Of course, earlier in the week, as far as greyhound racing goes, there was the final of the Moomba Australian Cup at Olympic Park. And, of course, the Inter-Dominion series continuing as far as harness racing goes in New Zealand. So certainly plenty of ways to have a bet and some exciting racing on at the moment. We'll be taking a look at all of the highlights in the next hour here on World of Sport Replay and, indeed, a little bit later in the day in World of Sport. But, first of all, let's go back to Tats Lotte last night. And it was draw number 587, Division 1 prize pool $1.537 million. Numbers in numerical order 7, 9, 11, 20. 20, 28 and 36. Supplementary numbers 37 and 40. Over $741,000 in the Super 66 pool last night and the combination required was 4, 2, 2, 5, 2 and 8. Good luck with those numbers in Tats Lotto and Super 66. Well, there was plenty of luck for the punters at Flemington yesterday. A great day of racing. New market handicap day. We'll be back with all the action after this break. Flemington, the first day of the VRC Autumn Carnival, with the Newmarket Handicap, of course, being the highlight of the day. And the first event was the Pines Hurdle, the favourite Rapelco at 11 to 8. And your commentator is the accurate one, Bill Collins. Then came Arlington Road, noblest Roman, and out wider on the track. Double statement is going up to the lead with Better Duke as they went to the first obstacle. Long range just in front of Rapelco, double statement, Sky Ross and Better Duke coming across to head them all off. Arlington Road back along the inside with noblest Roman as they went to the second obstacle. Rapelco jumped so well he got to the lead with long range again and Better Duke the outside who hung out at it. They're very tightly bunched, however, with double statement, Sky Ross there and Selborne the outside. Over the last in the straight, they're all over it safely. Well well bunch, better Duke just led now. Double statement got up second, Rapelco on the rails third, long range outside him from Sky Ross, born to jump. Then Arlington Road, Southbourne four deep, noblest Roman the rails, followed by Harbour Zahn. Gellywood back second last and last of all chosen gift. Heading along to the 2000 metre mark now, and the leader better Duke, about a length and a half clear of double statement, one to long range, a half to Rapelco the rails, one to Sky Ross, a half further back, born to jump over that one, one to Arlington Road who's racing fiercely, Noblest Roman getting up on the fence. Out three deep, Chosen Gift, followed by Selborne and then Harbazan and Gellywood. They go past the 1800. Double statement went up on the inside, joined Better Duke, and on the inside of the three of them is Rapelco. And Long Range went around them. They were hanging out and hampering him. And the rider of Long Range, um, Harnett, took him to the lead. Rapelco was in second placing as they go to the next jump, and double statement on the outside over it. Then two lengths to Born to Jump, running a bit of a race out three deep now. And they're followed by Arlington. Road and uh, back with him, Chosen Gift making a bit of ground. Better Duke starting to drop out of it, going to the next. Where the leader long range over it, a length and a half, two better statement, a half born to jump, one to Rapelco, a half Chosen Gift, two lengths Arlington Road, Better Duke, Noblest Roman getting up on the fence, then Selborne the outside over the next from Sky Ross and a good gap to Gallywood and Harbour Zahn. They've got about uh, 1300 to go. The leader long range going all right, a length double statement, born to jump three deep, Rapelco on the rails looking for the run. Selborne winning around them quickly coming to the next jump and they were followed then by Arlington uh, Road at the head of the others. Noblest Roman trying to get up on the fence from Chosen Gift. 800 out, well bunched, long range in front. Selborne went up on the outside to join it but the leader's going well. Rapelco also just behind them a length away looking for a rails run. Behind it, Noblest Roman trying to get out. Chosen Gift right off the track and they're stacked wide like a trotting race on the corner where long range just led from Selborne going well. They're both going all right. He's getting a bit anxious on Rapelco. Noblest Roman's out of it's good enough and then came Arlington Road here's the second last long range by two lengths to Selborne a length away then came uh, Rapelco as they went over that oh Selborne nearly fell long range two and a half in front of Rapelco he's had to go for the whip on it and long range traveling nicely coming to the last he's over it safely about two and a half to Rapelco and three to noblest Roman but long range holding Rapelco with a hundred to go they're both under the whip and long range in no danger is going on to win it well long range wins by a length and a half to Rapelco Five lengths away third, noblest Roman. Then came Chosen Gift and Arlington Road. Gallywood, Sky Ross behind them with Selborne, who stopped badly after nearly falling. Harbazan was with it, and uh, then back behind them towards the rear, born to jump. He's run about second last in it with double statement, and one just getting to the line is better Duke. 
Yes, a good game win to Long Range at 5 to 1, holding out the favourite Repelco 11 to 8, and Noblest Roman third at 4 to 1. The Stubby Handicap was the second race at Flemington yesterday, equal favourites at 5 to 2, Dandy Andy and Globetrotter. Away they go, and one of the first to get going over near the inside, Royal Scepter, nothing wanting to lead from Glenn Morriston. Uh, they're also flying Eskimo. Dandy Andy's going to head them all off now. Narcarlan further back with My Edward. Then Keepers, now Globetrotter's second last, Noble Cavalier third last and major drive last. As they go towards the 1,200, Dandy Andy under restraint, about a length and a half, Glenn Morriston, Royal Scepter tucked in on the rails, My Edward out three deep. Two lengths flying Eskimo, a half and a Carlin, two to keepers, one Noble Cavalier, a length Globetrotter and a length away major drive. Heading to the 1,000, about ten lengths cover the field, the pace not fast, which doesn't suit the back horses. Dandy Andy led a little over a length, Glenn Morriston, a length away Royal Scepter with the run of the race, on the outside of it there still is My Edward. One away flying Eskimo and Carlin, two lengths to keepers, as a half noble cavalier, Wonder Globe Trotter, a half major driver, about eight off the lead as they come towards the turn. 700 out, Dandy Andy under restraint, a length to Glenn Morriston, My Edward Deep, Royal Scepter. Now it's had the beautiful run behind Dandy Andy. Then uh, Carl on the outside, flying Eskimo, Globe Trotter trying to get up on the fence. He's made a bit of ground and major drive pulled about six deep. In the straight, Dandy Andy led from Glenn Morriston, Royal Scepter trying to get up on the rails got disappointed. Uh, Globe Trotter's behind it, badly blocked up at the moment, major drives do doing nothing. Dandy Andy got clear but Royal Scepter eased to the outside now. Canted up the Dandy Andy. Two lengths to Globetrotter under the whip. Then Major Drive. He goes for Royal Scepter now. He heads off Dandy Andy. Then Globetrotter and Major Drive and Royal Scepter given the run of the race. Coming away to win it well. A length and a half Dandy Andy. Half a length to Globetrotter third. Two lengths fourth Major Drive. Noble Cavalier flying Eskimo. Then came Glenn Morriston. Uh, Carlin keepers back with it and my Edward was last. Perfect ride by Lenny Maund on Royal Scepter at Five to one from the equal favourites Dandy Andy and Globetrotter at five to two. The Dalgetty Bloodstock Stakes the third over a thousand metres and the brilliant Colt Proven Valor the favourite at ten to nine. Green King Toey, they're racing. Screen King jumped all right. Hot Shoes jumped in the air. It's going berserk early and dropped right out of it, heading to the outside. Proven Vela, Square Deal got away well. Lord Tiamo fairly away with Cindy's appeal and then Screen King hidden power. They were followed a little further back in the field then behind those horses by Ivy's Idol and Tara Path. Uh, back behind them uh, is on the outside Hot Shoes. It's starting to gallop a bit now, but Proven Vela had crossed to the rails at the 600 to lead by more than two lengths to hidden power. Cindy's appeal, Green King the centre, a length and a half square deal has got back a long way and with it Lord Diamo. This looks to be bolting Proven Valor at the 400. Well back Hot Shoes, Tara Path, Ivy's Idol at the head of the rest. With 300 to go, Proven Valor three lengths in front of Hidden Power. A length and a half square deal followed by Lord Diamo. But uh, Clark riding confidently on Proven Valor. It's got it well won. Square deal, Hidden Power fighting out the miners from Lord Diamo. But Proven Valor's won by a good three lengths. Square deal second, Hidden Power third, fourth Lord Diamo. Then a gap to Cindy's appeal. Behind it then Tara Path. Hot shoes. It's as green as grass but worth following. Uh, at the head of the others then Cumberland Gap. Screen King who showed a little bit of early pace. Back behind them is River Fox. Ivy's Idol, one of the last to finish. And a Diamond Miner just in front of them. A soft win by Proven Valor. 10 to 9 and favourite from Square Deal. 7 to 4 and Hidden Power at 8 to 1. The Archer Plate race four, first leg of the Quadrilla over 2,500. Mr. Jazz, the public elected five to two. They're racing. Jumped away pretty well. Mystic Monarch didn't get going all that quickly. And Interwind began well, and my day's quickly gone to the lead. Mr. Jazz away nicely. Jano outside it, travelling prayer wider, and Game Trooper even wider still. Then came Emulus, Interwind dropping back along the fence, followed by Silai. Three lengths to Imperial Regina, and Mystic Monarch behind it, and Bane Jolly last. 2,200 out. My day led. Game Trooper caught wide, has now moved up into the outside in the death seat. Travelling prayer settled down two lengths away, third, and then two lengths to Jano covering. Mr. Jazz the rails. Three lengths to Interwind. They're going pretty quickly. A length to Emulus, two to Silai, four to Imperial Regina, two to Mystic Monarch, and three or four to Bane Jolie. Going along to the 1800 and My Day in front, a length Game Trooper and one to Travelling Prayer. Two lengths Mr. Jazz inside Genoa, a length and a half Emulus moving up to cover into win. Three lengths to Silai, four Imperial Regina, two Mystic Monarch, and a half now to Bane Jolie. As they pass the 1600, My Day in front. It's a length in front of Game Trooper and a half to Travelling Prayer on 
on the rails. A length and a half further back is the pace slackens Geno, a half to Mr. Jazz. One then to Emulus, a half into win, a length further back, Silai. Only a length now then to Imperial Regina, and they were followed by Bain Jolly, three deep, and in the middle, Mystic Monarch. Only ten lengths covered them now, and they've got about 1,300 to go. The leader was My Day, three parts game trooper, one to Travelling Prayer has had the run of the race. A length and a half, Geno, three parts to Mr. Jazz. It's being niggled a little bit here, and then a half to Emulus going forward. Into win next from Silai, Bain Jolie, and a length and a half, Mystic Monarch and Imperial Regina. At the thousand, they've packed up even further. My day, three parts game trooper, one travelling prayer, a half now to Geno. A length and a half, Mr. Jazz, a half Emulus. Trying to get between them, Bain Jolie from Silai into win, and two away, Mystic Monarch, Imperial Regina. 700 out there near the turn. My day, a half length game trooper. One away, travelling prayer, and a neck to Geno. Mr. Jazz trying to ease off the fence from Emulus, and then Bain Jolly off the track from Interwin and Silai. They've entered the straight. Game Trooper, the leader now, took over quickly from My Day, Travelling Prayer. Jano the outside, and there followed by Mr. Jazz, who's badly boxed up at the moment. Travelling Prayer went for a run on the rails with Interwin. My Day fought back to Game Trooper. Travelling Prayer grabbed them on the fence. Out wider, Jano's gone. Game Trooper, Mr. Jazz trying to get through. Travelling Prayer shot clear. Mr. Jazz now getting clear out after Travelling Prayer, whether he can get up in time. Travelling Prayer in front now. Mr. Jazz can't go on with it. And Travelling Prayer's kicked away. It's going to win easily. Janot's coming again out wide. But Travelling Prayer's won it by nearly three lengths to either Janot or Mr. Jazz. My day next for Imperial Regina. Then came Emulus. Uh, they were followed further back in the field. Bain, Jolie and Interwin, Silai. Game Trooper stopped badly. Mystic Monarch ran last. Well, there's no doubt about Harry White over a longer journey. Travelling Prayer, 7 to 1. Second, Jano at 7 to 2. And Mr. Jazz, the favourite, another placing, ran third at 5 to 2. The big one of the day, the super mild new market handicap over 1,200 metres. Placid Arc, the brilliant Western Australian, going for the big autumn treble, and he was the favourite at 9 to 4. There's the light, away they go, they've jumped well. Placid Arc away nicely with Dowie from Campaign King, and it's going to the outside fence. Let me tell's going across there with it. Uh, over on the flat side now, and uh, showing speed here, Rubiton's going to be in front of Taj Quillow when they settle down, and going up quickly, special to join them. Three down the outside, Placid Arc under a hold in front of Dowie, and let me tell. On the flat side at the 800, special race to length and a half to Rubiton. They were followed then behind those horses by Touch of Genius. Gorilla the outside Caledonian boy behind those horses. Uh, Campaign King and Richfield's lad and Canny Lass and Lord Galaxy down the outside Placid Arc and he's got a big grip on it looking across. A length and a half let me tell and two lengths to Dowie. At the 500 Rupiton went up the special headed it off. Caledonian boy went to it. Richfield's lad is there too and uh, coming into it now is Princely Hart. Down the outside Placid Arc is in front and he's got into it suddenly from let me tell. Placid Arc in front on the outside from let me tell coming at it. Rupert Rubiton over on the inside, the leader from Canny Lass and Princely Hart. It's Rubiton, Princely Hart and Placid Arc. Placid Arc's in front. Placid Arc's made it a magnificent treble. It's beaten Princely Hart and Rubiton. Let me tell behind them from Zip Home and then came Burano. Uh, Caledonian boy, bullion broker, Lord Galaxy, Gorilla. Next, Richfield's lad, Taj Quillo and Touch of Genius. A photo's been called for. You have no doubt, you people over in the West, that this champion sprinter of yours has won the new market handicap. And, that... and in doing so, Bill, he created racing history by taking out the big autumn treble, the lightning stakes, the Oakley plate, the new market handicap. Placid Arc, nine to four in favourite. What a great sprinter. Princely Hart, eight to one. Rubiton, third at ten to one. The Blood Horse Breeders' Plate, race six, and twining the popular pick at six to four. The light, they're racing. Nora's edition slowly away, so is Solar Princess and Double Match, and bouncing out in front, twining from Casanora. They were followed by Mardisi, the three favourites, and on the outside, Faithful Thought. They were followed by Star Cafe on the inside of Glorious Way at the head of the others. Miami Vice is further back with Dreamy Sister. Mardisi careered to the lead at the thousand, a length and a half, Glorious Way, a length to twining, getting the box seat run. They were followed uh, then on the outside, Casanora, three deep, Faithful Thought, a length, Dreamy Sister. Twisted Logic was next, and then Mrs. Rumpole out wide from Star Cafe. Solar Princess making up a bit of ground from Miami Vice, and further back in the field then, uh, well back is double match at the head of the others. Sister Shirley is well out of it, and back at the, oh, back towards the rear of the field now is Toy's Daughter. On the turn, 500 out, Mardisi led a half-length glorious way. Casanora pulling out three deep, looking for the run is 
twining out wider on the track, Faithful Thought into the straight and Madisi kicked a length in front of Stablemate, Glorious Way going all right, Casanora struggling, twining, bullocking its way out, Glorious Way took the lead now from Madisi, now twining gets out, coming after it on the outside, Toy's Daughters get coming home from well back in the field and then Miami Vice Casanora, twining, getting to Glorious Way, 100 out, it's taken the lead now, Glorious Way fighting back, twining hands and heels just in front, it's going to be just too good and Twining's won it about a half neck to Glorious Way. Miami Vice third, fourth Toy's Daughter, a good run. Then Sister Shirley, followed by Hot Vixen, Solar Princess. Uh, Casanora and Medici both very disappointing from Twisted Logic. Further back, Dreamy Sister, Faithful Thought, then Nora's Edition, double match. And among the last, Mrs. Rumpole and Star Cafe. Punched out by Shane Died, Twining successful, 6-4 to four in favourite, Glorious Way 8s and Miami Vice at 50-1. to one. Another big one at Flemington yesterday, the Francis Tricity Stakes, race 7, and the Bonnie Mare Playful Princess, the favourite at 5-2. to two. Racing. Amanda Pink dwelt lost two or three links and Bowley's girl a bit slow. Great battle early with the others on the inside dart as a Miss Caramus. Goblet's going to head them off but had to be booted up. Deedle was next and they were followed then by Carb Flying Shoes, a length further back, Savali. Uh, let's see it. The head of the others romp along with Besterberg who's got well back with Perfect Polly. Playful Princess in front of only three or four. Mrs Mannering is one of them with Karabahar, Bowley's girl and Rebecca Gay last. Past the thousand they raised Goblet a half. Miss Caramus one to Dartism, a length and a half Deedle, Flying Shoes, Three Deep, Savali, the rails from Carbolinth, Romp Along, Amanda Pink. Uh, they were followed further back in the field, Bester Berg, Playful Princess was next, Bowley's Girl, Mrs Mannering, Rebecca Gay and Karabaha. On the turn, Goblet by a length and a half. Now, Miss Caramas, Dadaism's had a good run. Deedle's travelled well too. Behind them then Flying Shoes, Carb, Amanda Pink. Then came Bester Berg, Mrs Mannering, Playful Princess pulled out wide and Rebecca Gay last and deep. Goblet at the 300 is two lengths in front of Dardaism, Miss Caramas Savali. Deedle under the whip is battling on Mrs. Mannering. Playful Princess from a long way back, but at the 200, it's still Goblet in front of Dardaism. Playful Princess and Deedle the outside. Playful Princess going two to their one. It's got up to join them near the line. It'll win. Playful Princess finishing too well is going to just beat Deedle. Dardaism third. Rebecca Gay flew to be fourth. Then Besterberg, and they're followed by Flying Shoes. Goblet stopped quickly near the line. Uh, then came Romp along with Miss Caramas, Karabaha, Mrs. Mannering, Savali, Amanda Pink, Perfect Polly, and Flying Shoes, one of the last with Bowley's Girl. Great performance by Playful Princess, 5 to 2, and Favourite Deedle, second at 5 to 1, and Dartaism, third, 12 to 1. The last event on the card, the Calais Faulkner Stakes, and the Favourite Wicked Smile at 3 to 1. Light away they go. And they've jumped away reasonably well. Eloquent Edition got away quickly from Take My Picture and uh, also Wicked Smile. Over on the inside is Missenden Jet and up there also early studded with stars. Now let's go over towards the outside. Um, let's see, over on the outside, Forsyth's going to be one of the leaders with Drill, Burn, Miss and Kill Marie is there with them too and Laurent. It's right against the outside rail and Walk on Stage not far away with Glowing Idol and Just Eartha. Over on the flat side now and Eloquent Edition Drill and uh, is just the leader from Missenden Jet. Take My Picture is running third and then came Wicked Smile just behind them. Reputable Miss started with stars behind them and further back in Vino Veritas. Uh, down the outside now Foresight and also Laurent Drilburn Miss Kilmarie. Glowing Idol a line of about five out there from Rue to Rivoli. Wicked Smile after a bit of interference whipped around them on the flat side dashed to the lead from Take My Picture shot right away from it. Down the outside Foresight Drilburn Miss are fighting it out there but I think Wicked Smile's in front on the flat side. He's using the whip vigorously. Drillburn miss out after it out wide. Wicked Smile in front, getting very tired on the line. Wicked Smile, Drillburn miss is grabbing it. Drillburn miss is one. Drillburn miss has got up and beaten Wicked Smile. Uh, third, probably Kill Marie with Glowing Idol, Ruda Rivoli and Madra Pia. Take my picture, reputable miss in Vino Veritas, eloquent edition. Then studded with stars. Uh, further back in the field is Walk on stage, Just Eartha. Uh, back to Laurent stop very quickly and over near the flat side Laney Star is one of the last in with Missenden Jet. Not too many rays of light for the bookies but that was one in the last Drillburn miss at 12 to 1 Wicked Smile 3 to 1 favourite and Kill Marie at 7 to 2. Let's take a look at the doubles now. The extra double at Flemington 4 and 8, 22, 80. 
the daily double on three and one, six dollars sixty, and the quadrilla on eight, three, two, and one paid one hundred and seven dollars and five cents. The extra double in Sydney on six and ten, one hundred and fifty three seventy. The daily double twelve and seven, six hundred and ninety six dollars even, and the quadrilla nine double seven five, three thousand two hundred and sixty six dollars ten. In Adelaide, the extra ten and ten, ten dollars ninety five. Daily double ten and seven, forty dollars ninety five. The Brisbane daily three and seven, fourteen twenty five. The extra double at Stony Creek yesterday on seven and one, thirteen dollars forty. Daily double twelve and one, seventy three ninety. And the quadrilla double seven, double one, six hundred and thirty four dollars and sixty five cents. And that was the story of racing yesterday at Flemington. And just before we close off the racing segment of World of Sport replay. You've seen the details on this magnificent publication, The History of Australian Thoroughbred Racing, Volume 1. And anyone who is interested in racing will find this a magnificent book. Some of the illustrations are just fantastic and there's some very interesting reading. It's available on 329-6688 from Cornell Advertising. Uh, $50 plus postage and it really is well worth getting for the racing enthusiast. It would make a great gift and uh, for anyone with racing knowledge and interest, it certainly would be well worth reading. OK, we'll be back with Greyhound Racing, a big week, and all the highlights coming up after this break.